Suppose 30 people are in a room. What is the probability that there is at least one shared birthday among these 30 people? Well, again, we're going to be dealing with the opposite, the probability of at least one is equal to the probability where it's one minus the probability that no one has a shared birthday of none. And this is a common thing in mathematics where it becomes easier to find the maybe opposite of what you're looking for and then do one minus that. So we have one minus, if you remember from our previous examples here, we can use permutations to write this more condensely. There's 365 days in the year, and we have to choose, where order matters, 30 people, right? So they can't have the same birthday, right? 36, 35, 30, uh, 365, 364, 363, etc. Over a total of 365 days to the 30th power. Now, if you put that in your calculator, <laughs> you end up with a 0 0.706 which is about, right, a 70.6% chance. So there is about a 70% chance if you have 30 people in a room, if every birthday is equally as likely, that at least one share a birthday among them. So it's kind of a cool bet if you have 30 people in a room or hanging out at a party with 30 people, there is a 70% chance that at least one share a same birthday in that group, which is kind of mind-blowing. I never really thought about that when I first learned about this birthday problem here, that it would actually be that common. Anyway, I hope you learned something here about the birthday problem and calculating the probability of that. And as always, thanks for watching.